Natural resources, such as oil, gas, and metals, can make a big difference to a country's exports and overall GDP. Being rich in natural resources has allowed some countries to accumulate large financial assets abroad, enabling them to invest in schools, hospitals, and roads to promote growth and diversification. However, natural resources come with challenges too. In addition to the reality that these resources will eventually run out, policymakers must cope with the volatility of prices. For example, the large sustained global decline in commodity prices since 2014 resulted in large budget deficits in many commodity exporters. What was the fiscal policy response? We made a, an expenditure cut without affecting the most important investment projects or social expenditure. What was the monetary policy response? The plan was to switch to inflation targeting, to go to free float, and to use uh, interest rate as a main policy instrument. So this is what we did. What accounted for the different macroeconomic responses? More generally, how can a country design a robust fiscal framework and fiscal regime for its extractive industries? And how much of its natural resource revenues should a country save for future generations? Sound macroeconomic management of natural resources makes a significant difference to economic performance and standards of living. The IMF has developed this course on macroeconomic management in resource-rich countries, MRCX, to address these and many other questions. Gain the knowledge to make a difference in your country. We hope you will join us for the new course offering of MRCX, starting soon on edX. Music